Today we're going to be working on answering probability questions on binomial distribution. So before we can uh, use the binomial distribution formula or the calculator function in our TA-84, you need to make sure that your um, conditions or four conditions are satisfied. So this particular binomial probability, all four conditions for binomial setting has been satisfied. So we can go ahead and proceed to answering the problems for binomial probability. So here, um, Dr. Raposa uh, gave a 10 item test with a multiple choice from A through E and we are supposed to compute for the probability of getting correct answers by just guessing. So for the first problem, we're supposed to find the probability that Carlo, who's taking the test, will get exactly four out of the 10 problems correctly. So first, let's organize the given values in this particular problem. So we know that the number of trials here will be 10 because it's a 10 item quiz. The probability of getting correct answer from A through E will be one out of five. And for the first problem, for letter A, x will be equal to 4. So to answer this particular problem, we're looking for the probability of getting exactly 4 of the 10 questions correctly by guessing. So in this case, we're going to be using our calculator function binom PDF. And it will ask us for three values, which is the n, the p, and the x. So this is how easy computing for the probability is using TI-84, as opposed to using the formula for the binomial distribution, which is n c x times p to the x times q to the n minus x, where q is the complement of p, or the probability of success. So we're not going to use this, but we're going to use this instead. So to find this probability of getting 4 out of 10 correct answers by guessing, so we go to second function vars, and you go all the way down to binom PDF. So there are two functions here, PDF and CDF. And for an equation, we use PDF. And the syntax will be trial is 10 or n. 1 out of 5 is our probability of success. And we're looking for 4. So the answer is 0 0.0880. 0 0.8. I mean, 0 0.0880, zero. there, or 8.80%. So the probability that you will get exactly four of the 10 item test correctly is about 9% based on this probability. So this is how we answer problem letter A. Now to answer problem letter B, we have four sub-questions, and the reason why we have four sub-questions is because we're working now on inequality. So for the first problem, we need to find the probability that Carlo will guess at least four of the problems correctly. So remember that a binomial distribution is a discrete random variable, so the inequality symbol is extremely important. So we have zero answer, or we can have zero answer, we can, one ha we can have one answer correctly, two, three, four, five, six, all the way to 10. So this is my visual on the probability distribution of this binomial probability. And the reason why I did this, because if we're looking for the answer for P or for letter B one, it's going to be P of X, at least four of the problems correctly, which means we need to get four, to 10, or the probability of getting four correct answers or five correct answers up until 10 correct answers, so it's going to be greater than or equal to four. Now remember, when we're working with our calculator, the calculator will only give you the probabil probability to the left of the curve. So we're going to trick our calculator in to giving us the answer that we're looking for. And we're basically just looking for the complement of what the calculator is giving us. So to do that, we're just going to subtract one with the probability 
of 0, 1, 2, and 3 because the calculator is only going to give us the probability to the left of the curve. So this is what we're going to look for using our calculator. And we're going to use binome CDF this time. It's still going to be N, P, and X. And N is 10. P is 1 over 5 still, and X this time is going to start from 3. Because this will this is what the calculator is going to give us, and we're going to subtract it from 1 to get the complement, which is the value that we are looking for. So using our calculator, second function, vars, go all the way down to binome CDF this time. 10 is the number of trial, P is still 1 out of 5 x is now going to be 3 and that probability is 0 0.8791 so it's 0 0.8791 and this is the probability of getting 3 and below but since we're looking for 4 and above we're subtracting it from 1 to get the answer we're looking for so 1 minus that is 0 0.1209, 0 0.1209, or approximately equal to 12.09%. So the probability that we are going to get at least four of the problems correctly by guessing is 12.09. And this is what we're going to be using as our visual in finding the other three probabilities that we're solving. So let's go ahead and answer problem number two. And for B2, the probability that we're looking is the probability of guessing more than two or more than four of the problems correctly. So it's going to be x more than four. So in our visual, if this is four, we're going to go with five and above. So our calculator can give us the probability from 4 and below. So we're going to use 1 or the complement of 1 binome CDF. This time it's going to be 10, 1 over 5, and 4. And we're going to get the complement of that to get the answer that we're looking for. So using our calculator, one, second function entry, let's change this into Four, and it will give us 0.9672. So it's 1 minus 0.9672. And since we're taking the complement because we need 5 and above, second f um, 1 minus. Sorry. 1 minus answer is 0 0.032, 0 0.0328, or about 3.28%. So that's the probability that we will get more than four of the items correctly. And for the third inequality, this one is going to be easier than one and two because for B3, we're just looking for the probability of guessing at most four of the problems correctly. So it's going to be x, so at most four of the problems, so that means maximum of four. So this is basically what we're looking for. So we're, we don't need to find the complement because we're looking at the probability to the left of the curve, so we're just using binome. CDF, 10, 1 over 5, and now we're going to start at 4. So, second VARS, binome CDF, and this time I'm going to start at 4 because we're looking for 4 and below. And it's equal to 0.9672. So the probability is higher, obviously, because this is the probability of getting 0 out of the 10 correctly, or 1 out of the 10 correctly, or up until 4 
of the items correctly by guessing. And for the last problem, we're looking for the probability of x less than 4. So that means if this is our distribution, we're going to start at 3 and below. So in our calculator, it will be binome CDF 10, 1 over 5, and you'll start at 3. So let's compute for that using our calculator, second entry. Let's just change this to 3, and it's 0 .8, 0 0.8791, 0 0.8791, which is approximately equal to 88%. So this is how we use our TI-84 in computing for binomial probability.